If you're struggling to shoot on your small guard build after the patch, don't worry, you've come to the right place. Now, if you're struggling to shoot on your tall guard build, I'm talking 6'5 and taller, you've almost come to the right place. Right channel, wrong video. Don't worry, I'll link this one in the description for y'all. Also, make sure to go follow me on the app that starts with a T, and I'm not talking about Twitter, though you can follow me on there too, because on that app, I am going to be labbing up some more jump shots for y'all. If for some reason, some miraculous reason, you do not like these two fire jump shots that I gave you in that video and this one right here. Now we all know after the recent patch that 2k drop shooting definitely feels different. Personally though, my percentages have gone up, especially on my small guard. On my 6'6", it took me a second to get my jump shot right, but on my 6'2", the jump shot I was using before patch is still fire. With that being said, I did make a small tweak to it just to make it feel a little bit smoother. Because with this recent patch, your shot gets sped up way more often, so it's important that your jumper is as smooth as possible. So I already made a video a few weeks ago showing you guys my jump shot before the patch, but I'm going to show you guys it again as well as my new jump shot. And like I said, they're very similar, I just made a small tweak. And I figured I'd show you guys because, you know, I want y'all to be shooting as good as possible. So just do your guy a favor, drop a like on the video, sub the channel if you're new. It doesn't cost you a cent, but it does help a fellow bro out a ton. Because y'all peep the link to this video. It is only two minutes long. Who else do you know It's dropping two minute jump shot videos that actually have two different jump shots in them? So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. So here is my original jump shot from before the patch. Like I said earlier, this jump shot is still super good. It's still super reliable, easy to time, easy to green with. In fact, I was still using this jump shot the first full day after the patch came out and my three point percentage was still going up. But like I said earlier, I noticed that it wasn't quite as smooth before. So I made a few tweaks and this is what we're working with now. I just changed the second upper and the blending a little bit. It's still max speed. I'm still using set point and I'll freeze the video right here so y'all can see where exactly I let go of the shoot button using set point on this jump shot. Right here when the ball is pretty much at the top of his forehead is when I let go of the shoot button. I can't speak for any of the other release cues like jump, push, or release, but if you've already been using one of those cues, they should be pretty easy to figure out, and they honestly, in their names, they're pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for y'all today. Hopefully, I was able to make you a little bit better shooter with this fire jump shot. So do me a favor, like I said, drop a like, sub to the channel if you're new, because I put y'all on. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless. I love y'all, and I will catch you in the next one.